Hello friends, welcome back. Hope you guys are doing well. Another day, another video in Autodesk Sketchbook with a resolution of 2860 into 2080. Hope you guys are doing well. Without that I'm Without any further delay, let's get started. The step one, we are going to paint this car. This is the most basic background of any illustration. And this illustration, we are just going to follow three steps. The sky, the skyline, and the moon. That's it. So we're using coarse watercolor to add the color in the brush. As you can see, I don't want it to be very small of the brush size. So I just increased. And we are going to add just three color shade. One is the sky blue. Another one is the blue of like an ink blue another we go with a indigo darker shade and some purplish tone so that i get the hint of the night sky so once we are done with this we are going to use our usual blending brush which you are all well aware if you're following my last two videos you know i use only one blending brush this is blunting from the artist column so right now we are coming to add all this color don't worry you can go as freehand as you want i'm just doing in whatever way i like so we are using blending brush and it's going to take another 40 seconds to just blend entire color out so how are, how am i blending it's very simple i'm just blending outside to inside so as you can see i have first smudged the darker shade to the lighter shade and then i'm mixing the color as i go by usually i start from the top then go all the way to the bottom if you have other way around you can follow that as well so now i'm trying to bring that pinkish violet tone out from the sky so that we have this very aesthetic night as we go by so don't worry about the lower part of the sky we are going to add the skyline there so we are hopping on very quickly into step two that is adding the skyline so for drawing skyline i'm using just one pen that is fountain pen and we are using the help of draw style to add that building structure so you can see on the top toolbar we are selecting the rectangle option and we are just going to stretch out as we go by so i'm going to select a black color for the skyline because it's night and we just want the moon to be the queen of the entire illustration so i'm using ipad 6 gen along with apple pencil first generation if you are using any other android devices like mobile or tablet i think they have their own set of stylus which you can use make sure you listed according to the sensor and the pressure of the pen itself so for me it's very simple i i choose any in between number of the pen size and then i go by so to fill this building we are just going to use the help of fill bucket option and I, as you can see i'm adding a depth to the building rather than just the square or the rectangle i'm i'm drawing a vertical line of the building and pulling it another one straight line so just make sure it's a very easy rough sketch here you don't have to be very head like oh i need the rectangle i need the square you don't have to follow exactly how am i doing you can blend tall building small building or tall 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 and then small is up to you so now you can see i'm using the fill bucket option to fill the entire skyline itself so as you can see there is a darker shade of the building we are just going to add few highlights so this will be the tallest building there so i'm going to add few more floors and a tower over the bridge so that it raises above the rest of the building and then i'm going to follow the same for another building just few more floors and then a roof like skyline looks so we'll just without waiting go ahead with the lighting so we are using again the glow neon pen from the glow set itself so we are going to use yellow it's up to you you can use any color shade orange yellow red pink blue it's up to you i usually go with the fluorescent yellowish color because i think it gives more vibes to the building than anything else like imagine it's an office building or imagine it's an apartment in a high-rise area so i'm just going to dab 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 and follow it the same sometimes it will be the vertical sometimes we are going to give the lighting in the horizontal so just imagine yourself if you're looking at the sky high-rise building there is lighting in a vertical way in a horizontal way it's up to you how you want to go but i really added like each and every building each and every house in that building is available at that moment and then we see it's working it's vibrant and not gonna be a dead look there and the final 
bit of the illustration that is the easy moon i call it easy moon because all we have to do is select one glow brush and make the brush size to the largest or in the middle of it based on your requirement but for the moon i always select to the largest size and then i go three dab and i am happy with the outshine of the moon and also the middle bit of the moon you will see in the next few seconds and also as i was discussing in the last video i'm opening up for commissions for artwork for logo design for website design any kind of card invitation or so please feel free to drop a mail or in the comment box i'll be happy to take it further so now we are going with a little dark blue shade there and i'm increasing the opacity first i'm going to give a hint of a background then i'm increasing the opacity and also i'm selecting white color for that moon itself so now we are just going to use fountain pen and select a lighter gray shade add it in the moon so that we give a depth and also the spot in the moon which is very common and for blending this we are using the wash brush to blend it out it will take some time for the moon but just make sure you select the lowest of the size of the wash brush so you don't have to smudge the entire moon just the grayish moon it takes a little bit of time but over period you get very well versed of it so we are just going to add few more shades of gray and then wash it around and i felt like it is lacking some depth in the moon so i'm using flow air brush to add some more of the darker gray shade and just blend it across in the moon you don't have to use the highest point of the brush size just make sure you use the smallest size of the brush like 15 to 20 works well in blending and once you're okay with it you add the topmost layer like one more shadow i'm using black color here to get give the depth to the moon so we are using blending brush to blend the darker shade not the wash brush so one of the rule of digital illustration is to use as much layer as you want because if you have made mistake you don't have to erase but rather delete the layer as you can see there is a sky layer there is a skyline layer and the moon layer so make sure you select as much as layer as you want and you can illustrate as you go by hope you enjoy this video see you on in the next video and make sure to like this video share it along with your artistic friend and subscribe we will have a great community if you were able to illustrate this share me in my instagram handle and also comment down below which bit did you enjoy is it the skyline is it the sky or the moon i'll be happy to comment back to all all of your comments see you all in the next video till then take care bye bye